of my all-time favorite events to photograph is Daytona's Bike Week and Biketoberfest. I've been going since the early 1980s and it's always been a good time. Contrary to the rough and gruff stereotypical biker image, I've found the people that attend these events to be nothing but super friendly and like me, just there to have a good time. I think in the 30 plus years I've been to Bike Week, I've seen just one fist fight and you could probably blame that on too much alcohol. It used to be a bit wild in how people presented themselves, which made it really fun to cover the event. But in the late 1990s, Daytona officials decided to make Daytona Beach more family friendly and clamp down on Bike Week and Bike Tower Fest as well as Spring Break. One change was to outlaw the wearing of thongs anywhere but the beach. It was a common sight to see girls walking or riding motorcycles around Daytona Beach while wearing thongs and they cracked down on that. Wearing thongs and flashing was outlawed by the city council, and then they were gone. Police readily enforced the new law and tickets were handed out like candy until the bikers and spring breakers got the message and the behavior was eventually curbed. Unfazed by the new rules, the women that were determined to show the results of countless squats found creative ways to skirt around the no thongs law. What makes these events so much fun to photograph is the color and creativity in the way people present themselves and their rides. You see everything from mild to wild and it really is one big show. A really big show. There are people that have been living the biker lifestyle their whole life. There's weekend warriors that will go back home to their 9 to 5 life. There's lots of horny bachelors looking for Miss Wright. And lots of women looking for someone to ride off into the sunset with. Some are there already on the family plan and enjoying every minute of it. Young and old, bold and beautiful, and all of them getting along together as they enjoy the 10 day event most dressed to impress or make an impression, and they are all camera friendly, which is a huge plus for a street photographer like me. While I can't say I've seen it all, I can say I've seen a lot, and I've captured some of it on video. The motorcycles range from self-proclaimed junkers to incredible works of art. The people that attend these events are just as fascinating and I've seen quite a few famous people in the mix as well. Just walking down Main Street, you might see John Travolta on his Harley working his way through the crowd, or that guy from the Orange County Choppers on his scooter. You might see Paris Hilton walking with her bestie, or Richard Branson out for a ride. Uncle Sam was there, and so was Chief Talking Bull. Kid Rock stopped by for a drink. Keanu Reeves was there sometime after his battle with speed, but before he entered the Matrix. Bernie Mac took a ride down Main Street. The captain was there. I guess Tennille fell off the back. I once saw Elvis there having a good time, and I think the lead singer from Skid Row waved to me. You can always count on a Playboy Playmate showing up at Bike Week, and I've seen many, including Miss July 2007, Tiffany Selby walking around as a Hawaiian Tropic girl, and competing in a Main Street bikini contest. I got an autograph from Miss September 1997, Nikki Ziering. She has a kind face. I got an autograph from Miss February 2000, Suzanne Stokes, who happens to be the second Playmate from Naples, Florida. The first one I know very well. I got a smile out of Nicole, Erica, and Jacqueline, better known as the identical triplets that appeared together as the Playboy Playmates for the December 1998 issue. On the flip side, I saw the ice cream man from hell and his roommate, the bellboy from hell. I once took some video of a guy on a nice road bike with matching leathers and a full face helmet with a tinted shield. He was stopped in traffic right in front of me and he turned to look at me. I found out later that it was Michael Jordan. 
you're almost guaranteed to see a few of the very talented bike builders and their creations out on the road or at one of the many bike shows during the event. Friday's Boardwalk Bike Show on the beach is always a fan favorite with happy bike builders bringing home the hardware. Ground zero for the biker events is Main Street in Daytona Beach and my favorite thing to do is walk from one end to the other because you never know who you might pass on the sidewalk or what might drive by on the road. One time I was walking along came upon fitness superstar Debbie Cruck out enjoying the event. Debbie is an accomplished fitness athlete winning many competitions in the 1990s and has appeared in countless fitness and bodybuilding magazines. She is also a very cool person as the video shows from our random encounter on Main Street during Bike Week. Are you video? Yep, say something. Okay, hi, welcome to Daytona Bike Week. Tell me you're Debbie. My name's Debbie, and I'm here and I'm having fun and partying in Daytona Beach. And who'd you bring with you? Who'd I bring with me? I brought Mr. America over there. He's looking somewhere else. He's looking to find me. <laughs> He's looking for me. I'm over here talking to you. Honey, say hi. You look good, Debbie. Thanks, I've seen a lot of your pictures in Muscle Aww. Mag. You're, uh, Let me give you one of my little cars. Oh, great. Okay. Where are you from? I live in Orlando. Oh, okay. We know each other then. You live in Orlando? I live in Orlando. Yeah. Y'all, you got what you need? Which one's your bike? You guys got a bike? We don't have a bike. We just have the outfits. <laughs> What's your hat say? You won't get that on video. <laughs> Give me ten bucks. What's that say on your hat? We went to the Bank and Blues and the guy that was singing on stage um, took off his pants. Really? Yeah. My hat says show your butt. <laughs> okay. I'll show you my biceps. Dang, get on that wave man, girl. I'll say, okay.
Thanks a lot.
a buffalo go by here? Yes. Which way did he go? Central Florida is. My favorite ride is being on my man. Oh. All right, Scooter, let's get some music on for Stacy here. was a model that I had photographed in the past. We did some work for a NASCAR race team with her as a promo model and I was the photographer. We had an all-access pass to get around the Daytona track and we spent the day getting lots of pictures and video. I introduced her to several drivers including 1986 Daytona 500 winner Jeff Bodine. Misty and my other model Renee were super fun to work with and they got a lot of attention at the track. I've learned from experience that the best way to keep a model happy is to make sure they're not hungry. We stopped at the refreshment stand so they could fill up and take a break in the shade while checking out the view. I think my favorite part was the after party back at the motorhome. Unfortunately, they didn't get the motorcycle working right this time so I could get some video of them riding down Main Street, but it did give them some free time and we hooked up later for a photo shoot on the beach where Misty is at her best.
Oh no, get another deer.
us from north of the border. You guys that are ready to rock and roll? I, I don't know. Did you hear that? I, I can't hear you. Hey, let's, let, hey, let's give them Daytona. Let's give it to them. He's on fire, he put him out! I don't know, he's not getting up.
Dom Triplets, here they are! Dom Triplets, hey, check out their website, playboy.com, with Dale Jr.'s latest efforts. And of course, the new Playboy issue has Carmen Electra on the April issue. We got some t-shirts and stuff, are you ready to rock? Daytona's bike week can get wild and crazy and my video shows it. We saw some very cool bicycles, a few ambitious mini bikes, and a lot of motorcycle creations that left us scratching our heads. The people were awesome, always smiling for the camera whenever it pointed their way. They were certainly easy on the eyes and there was always something to see in every direction. It's very cool to spot celebrities like Drew Barrymore out there throwing caution to the wind. We got double vision with twins for the win until we discovered the triplets. The custom bikes were incredible and you could see many of them out on the road or parked at one of the custom bike shows around town. If I had to pick a favorite, I think it would be that trike powered by a jet engine. It just blew my mind. Thanks for watching my Best of Bike Week movie and I hope you enjoyed it. If it made you feel like you were right there in the middle of it, I'd say I've done my job. If it inspires you to attend a Bike Week in the future, that's even better. I created this movie using video I recorded mostly in the early 2000s and I still have enough unseen video to make five more movies just like this one so stay tuned because you never know what i might show next